Greetings from Grand Avenue. It's Wednesday afternoon about 5.30. It's one of my favorite times of day and I find myself in one of my favorite places, the Quapaw entrance of Grand Avenue Methodist Church. Because it's Wednesday, I've just finished a small group meeting with a handful of friends. We call each other every Wednesday afternoon and we use the Upper Room Devotional Guide as a means of sharing Christian fellowship. We study the Bible together, we read the devotion, and we use questions that are written in the back of the journal to guide us in sharing our own Christian experience. Perhaps you'd like to be a part of a group such as that. If so, get in touch with me and I'll add you to one of our existing groups or maybe you and I could start one together, either on the phone or online. In the meantime, I wanted to share this devotion with you. You'll find a link to it in the comments and description below this video. Today's devotion is entitled, Just As I Am. In it, a young man named Timothy from Nigeria talks about his experience. He's a little bit different from most Christians in his context. His personality is a little bit more outgoing. He's a little bit more inquisitive. And as a result, sometimes other people can kind of be judging of him. He says he feels as if they want him to change parts of his personality. Maybe you have felt that way, as if others were prejudiced against you, as if others were judging you, wanting you to change something about yourself. Or maybe, maybe you have even judged yourself. There may be parts of yourself that you find very uh, discomforting. If so, you'll probably find consolation in the passage that Timothy suggests that we read from 2 Corinthians. In it, the Apostle Paul describes his own experience. He says, if anyone had any reason to boast, it would be me. But to keep me from being too elated, a uh, thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger from Satan. He says three times he sought God about it in prayer, that it should be removed from him. But finally, the answer that he gets from God is this, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Friends, that is great theology. It's theology that you've known about ever since you were a young Christian. For indeed, you probably sang these words, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. We are weak, but he is strong. There it is. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Think about your own experience. Here are some questions that you might meditate on. Have others ever made you feel like you needed to change parts of your personality? If so, what brought you comfort, and how might you use that to encourage others? Do you think that Christians should all behave in a certain way, or do you celebrate diversity? And how would the church, how would the world be different if everyone had your attitude? Do you know who you are in God? If so, how has that helped you to reach out to others? And most importantly, how does it encourage you to know that God loves you even when you don't love yourself? Timothy draws this conclusion. What an encouragement to know that the Lord can be glorified even when we are misunderstood and misjudged. We can come to God just as we are. Friends, I want to offer this closing prayer for you, and then let us meditate as we hear the words of the old hymn, Just As I Am, recorded by Tommy Phillips, his wife Nora, Mary Tom Taylor, and Jennifer Evans as they sing together. But first, let us pray. Dear Savior, thank you for loving us as we are. Help us to make our lives reflect the truth of your word. Amen. May God bless you and keep you until we meet again.